Scientists create a super small engine for spacecraft that uses water as fuel. Welcome to the Space Diary channel. Before watching, I want to ask you to help our channel by liking and subscribing. The new engine creates a constant thrust of 1.25 millinewtons. Engineers from the European Space Agency have created a new tiny engine for satellites that it is smaller than a human fingertip. This mini engine uses water as fuel, and tests have shown that it can be installed on CubeSats, nanosatellites that are sent into space together with conventional satellites. NASA engineers are now creating engines for CubeSats which use water as fuel, but their concept does not provide for such a small size which was achieved in the process of creating a mini engine by ESA engineers. Despite the fact that the engine called the Ice Cube Thruster is smaller than a human fingertip, it has shown effective performance based on water fuel. So far, scientists have tested this engine in the laboratory, but soon they plan to conduct tests in space. If everything runs well, future CubeSats will have environmentally friendly and very simple engines. Scientists decided to create a new propulsion system for CubeSats because the demand for this type of satellite is growing, and more and more of them are being sent into space. According to the authors of the development, the Ice Cube Thruster will allow CubeSats to fly in space without the need for a large storage facility for gas fuel. The new engine uses electrolysis to separate water into oxygen and hydrogen when a 20W current passes through the water. They are ejected into space through a nozzle, which creates the necessary thrust to propel the CubeSat the length of the chamber where electrolysis takes place, and the nozzle is less than 1 mm. During tests on Earth, scientists were able to obtain a constant thrust of 1.25 millinewtons during engine operation, which is enough to move the nanosatellite in space. For comparison, the most powerful rocket, the Space Launch System, has engines that generate 39.1 meganewtons of thrust to enable it to fly into space and deliver a cargo payload. According to the scientists, because the new engine does not use conventional fuel, its design is much simpler and could be made smaller, which the scientists have managed to do. The authors of the development believe that the solar panels of the CubeSat will provide the engine with solar energy, which, after conversion into electricity, will ensure the stable operation of the electrolysis system in the engine. CubeSats are now being launched into space as an additional payload along with the main satellites or spacecraft. Was this video interesting for you? Please share your opinion in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for more interesting videos.